Hey everyone, what should you know if you're considering retiring to Vero Beach? Stay tuned because in this video I'm going to detail some of the talking points that you should be considering if you want to retire to our area. Rachel Carroll, co-founder of the Carroll Home Team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. Today I want to talk to you about retiring to our area, specifically Vero Beach, Florida, and why our lovely little city could just be your dream paradise. From country clubs to pristine beaches, um, year-round lifestyle sports, and lots of local entertainment. If you find this content helpful, make sure to hit subscribe below like this video and leave us a comment so that we can connect with you. So first things first, let's talk country clubs. There are a handful of really great country clubs here in Vero Beach specifically from extremely exclusive to, you know, the everyday person's country club. It just depends on whatever is going to fit your flavor. We've got the very exclusive Johns Island. We've got a lovely Quail Valley Country Club. Um, they have actually two locations, one on the Barrier Island and a brand new location that they just made on Royal Palm Point. Both are located on the water and they're very lovely. Um, we've got Riamar, which is over on the beach. Um, lovely golf course, beachside golf course. It's really, really beautiful. They take very good care of it. I think they actually just had a golf course rejuvenation the last couple years too. Um, we've also got the Vero Beach Country Club, which is kind of in the Central County area. Very lovely. Um, it's like your traditional golf course community with the homes that hug the golf course. Really nice. We've also got the Moorings Country Club, which has a beautiful grand clubhouse. Um, it is located on the water on the Barrier Island. All of those are very lovely, like um, traditional style country clubs. There's also a few more options. I know Bent Pine also has a really nice country club there um, and a lovely golf course as well. So if you are the type of person that wants to take advantage of like a country club style uh, community, we've got them here for you. We've got a lot of options and uh, I personally have attended events or been to a handful of them and they're very lovely. Segwaying from the country clubs, we also have a number of great golf courses, both private and public. Um, in our direct vicinity specifically, there's about 15 private clubs. Um, they're really easy to find online if you search private clubs Vero Beach. It should pull up 12 to 15 uh, of our options and pinpoint them on the map for you. So um, if you are somebody who wants to take advantage of a private club golf membership, those are definitely plentiful here in our area. Um, in regards to a public golf course option, we've got about two or three. I know there's one Sandridge golf course is here in Vero Beach. We've got, I think, the Sebastian Municipal Golf Course uh, up in Sebastian, about 25 minute drive from here. And there is one down in Fort Pierce, I believe it's called Fairways. So there are also a few options for a public golf course if you want to take advantage of that. Okay, so enough talk about country clubs and golf courses. Let's talk about lifestyle. So lifestyle wise, some of the things that I think are so fantastic for retirees to take advantage of in our area is things like great dining, great restaurant vendors here. We've got a lot of locally run um, restaurants that make phenomenal food. They host really fun trivia nights, live music, live entertainment. Um, it's really something nice to take advantage of. We've got uh, some great shows that come to Riverside Theater, comedy nights, dueling pianos. Um, those are some of my favorite things to attend. Uh, we've also got um, right across the street actually from Riverside Theater is Riverside Park. They have a huge empty lot that they bring in boat shows, um, 
pet shows, pet events, um, I mean, all kind, I can't even think of them off the top of my head, but all kinds of different themed big outdoor shows and events. Um, art in the park, they do the orchid show. I mean, it's really neat, um, all the different things that do come into town and people who showcase. Uh, so that's a, something that's really fun to attend and take advantage of. Uh, Vero Beach also hosts a really fun Friday Fest the last Friday of every single month. They shut down all of Main Street. Um, local vendors come out with their tents, they sell their goods, their food. Um, they have live entertainment, live music. People bring their chairs and kind of just hang out for the whole night. It's a lot of fun and that's done every single month. I love to go to that personally myself. We've also got this great museum here, the Vero Beach Museum of Arts. My family, um, we have a family membership to it. I love, you know, to go in and look at the, all of the different art that they showcase. Um, they change it out periodically. They also have a great children's um, area. I know that's not very applicable to retirees, but if you do have um, like your grandchildren or young grandchildren who are visiting, that's something that's really lovely to go to and to take your, your grandchildren to go and experience. I think another point that I want to touch on is some great lifestyle sports here. Our area really promotes lifestyle sports. We've got lovely tennis courts, really in a few different locations throughout the county. Um, but we've got namely some great tennis courts on Riverside, the, um, excuse me, Riverside Park. Um, we've got some great tennis courts right off of downtown 14th Avenue. People go, they play tennis matches. Um, they play pickleball there as well. Um, we've got some really nice bike lanes that were put in in the last couple of years. They extended the roads just to accommodate our cyclists. So there's a lot of cyclists here in our area. We've got a lot of hosted 5Ks, which you can run or walk, however active you want to be. Another great lifestyle activity um, that we have here is our rowing facility that they just built, a brand new, big building, beautiful rowing facility right over the Barber Bridge at the base. Um, and then also there's a great sailing foundation that teaches sailing lessons here and there's a lot of different um, people that you can connect with who are avid sailors um, or just enjoy that kind of sailing activity. Lastly, I think one of the more prominent um, interests for our retiree community is the beautiful pristine beaches and access to our beaches access to see wildlife, to visit our nature preserve areas. We've got a great preserve area just north of Vero Beach. As you cross into Sebastian, it's called Archie Carr. They actually host um, sea turtle viewing nighttime walks. We've been on one before. It's really a cool event to take advantage of. Um, but we've got a lot of sea turtle activity here. We've got a lot of dolphin activity. Manatees you'll be able to see. Lots of beautiful tropical birds and wildlife. Lots of uh, flora as well. Um, I know that Vero Beach has um, a number of different nature trails. Lagoon, like lagoon side um, trails that you can go walk. Some really long beautiful docks so that you can be on the water as you're walking and have that nice scenery backdrop. So I think that our area really lends itself to time spent outside taking in the scenery. We have lovely accessible beaches that are not crowded. Our water is beautiful. We're right there at the line of the tropics so we get that really crisp blue water at certain times of the year. 
and we have this great boardwalk. It's called our JC Park Boardwalk. And it's a long boardwalk that stretches a long run of the beach. And a lot of people like to go there and do like a walk. I think it's like a mile long one way, half a mile or a mile one way. So you can kind of pace how long you're walking, make it an exercise event. Um, we also have a lot of people who like to walk uh, our Barber Bridge. It has a great barrier between the road um, and the walkway of the bridge. That is frequently visited by people who want to take in the scenery and also get a great um, workout in the process. Last but not least, we have some really nice shopping. So whatever your budget, uh, Vero Beach shopping can accommodate. We've got great bargain stores, we've got great thrift stores, we've got um, lovely secondhand consignment with a lot of really nice items. We have, um, you know, some of the bigger chains like TJ Maxx and Marshalls where you can kind of go find some really neat bargain items. We've got some really lovely local vendors um, here as well, like local retailers who sell some really nicely sourced beautiful quality clothing um, down oh, the Ocean Drive Strip. You also have some really nice uh, fine stores, luxury jewelry, luxury clothing, um, even like fun festive beachwear. So there's a lot of uh, shopping options here. So all in all, I think Vero Beach is a lovely place to retire to. The pace of life here lends itself to a calm, lovely existence. We don't suffer from high traffic, not even in season. It's really, it's not an issue. Um, we have a lot of wonderful things to offer uh, somebody who is in that wonderful time of their life when they're able to retire and enjoy the fruits of their labor. Yes, also I realize that I am a young lady and I am not a retiree myself, but as a local real estate agent, I work with a lot of people who are moving into this area. I also have fa uh, family and friends who have retired, who live in this area, and who really love it and enjoy it. So, do me a favor. If you found this video helpful, if you have enjoyed this content, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel. If you click the little bell, it'll notify you the next time we post a video here for our local area. And um, if you want any more information, leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to connect with you. Also, in the description below, there's a link that'll take you to our website, www.letsellflorida.com. Um, it will let you search for our local real estate here. It'll let you set up um, a little safe search or a market report so that you, you can stay on top of what's happening in our local market, what homes are available to you in real time. So thank you so much for taking the time to be with me here for this video. Again, I'm Rachel Carroll, co-founder of the Carroll Home Team here in the Space of Treasure Coast of Florida, and I will see you next time.